In problem 7.16, you're given a cylinder rolling down a uh, inclined plane with angle alpha, uh, and this cylinder doesn't slip. Therefore, we can imagine that the radius actually is the amount of uh, amount of descent, distance covered. Now, it's rolling down, and we're given the kinetic energy being equals to one half mv squared plus one half i w squared. Oh man, well, yeah, W squared, okay? And we are told to use X as the inclined plane. So one thing that you can you know, look at is that this velocity that we have right here actually works perfectly and it's gonna be at, is equal to X dot squared. And of course, in order to write the Lagrangian, we need U. Well, the U is gonna be a little trickier. And we can say, since it, we have to find out, find out when it, how much it goes down, and we know the angle, if we were to draw another triangle like this, this one would be alpha. We can say that it goes down by mg, which is the uh, gravitational force, times, and then the path is x sine of alpha. Of course, it's going to be all negative because it's going down, therefore, it's losing kinetic energy. All right, so the Lagrangian, oh, one other thing that I want to do is this w is equal to v over capital R, everything squared. Now, one other thing that you could look at is this I. This I is a little hard to express. Not because we don't know what it is, but because if we have, for example, a hollow cylinder or a known hollow cylinder, we have different moment of, oh, sorry, with different, um, different moment of inertia. Now, in our case, we can imagine it's one half m uh, x, squared x yeah sorry mx squared uh, mx dot squared I think yes no mx m m r in our case squared but that's the radius that's why I was going to choose but we should probably not do it because we don't know if the cylinder is hollow or it's a solid cylinder so we're just gonna leave i as i okay so we're gonna have the t is equals to one half m x dot squared plus one half i v squared over r squared, and u is the same thing, of course. So now our Lagrangian, oops, Lagrangian is going to be equal to our kinetic energy minus our potential energy. It's going to be a positive value here, was a negative minus and then the negative value. And so if we find the derivative of our Lagrangian in terms of x is equal to dt over dt Lagrangian in terms of x dot. From the first side, we're going to get, oh, sorry, let me write this, v is that is equal to x dot squared. From the first side, we're going to get mg sine of alpha. From the second side, we're going to get d over dt. And then the Lagrangian, uh, the little Lagrangian in terms of x is going to be equal to one right a little bit longer m x dot plus i x dot over r squared okay and now we can uh, find the derivative in terms of time so this side we're going to, this side is going to be the same it's going to be the same so it's going to be like this equals to m x double dot plus i x double dot over r squared. Okay, so on the right side I can collect x double dot m plus i over r squared. So I can rewrite this. This part is going to be the same again. Then this part here is going to be the uh, right side. Therefore, x double dot is equals to m g sine of uh, sign of alpha, sorry, over m plus i over capital R squared. As you can see, that's a final solution to it. Now, if we're given, for example, that i is a solid cylinder, we know that i will be equals to one half m x m sorry m r squared. So, if we were to plug it in just for a just for a solid cylinder. We will get that it equals to 1 mg sine of alpha over 
m plus where we would solve the r squared and the r squared so we'll get plus one half m and so we will get in the end that this is equals to um, 2 over 3 g sine of alpha and this is just for a, for a solid cylinder this one is the most general oops, of course, most general solution to our equation